So we have now entered the forum and this is where we are going to be meeting Miranda. children book called The Girl with the Lost Smile. And as you may not have noticed, but I have drawn the t um, the front cover of the book on my t-shirt. And here is the front cover. And it's about fabulous Im imagination, creation, and what I feel reach the heart of everyone. Fun imaginative with Miranda said many times and if you are to write we should always try to be a child again if you're an adult 
And if you are a child, don't be afraid to write what you want to write. The Blue Peter presenter, I'm not sure if you know her, but her name is Lindsay. And she was so brilliant in interviewing Miranda. As we expected, Miranda had obviously had a full house. And everyone was so excited and happy to see her. And she was always having giggles and interaction with the audience, which I found which was really good, because then she like draws us in. On the question time, the audience, who asked fantastic questions, I might add. So we found out that she actually took three months to write The Girl with a Lost Smile. And she, um, she likes to eat crisps while writing, and that's like, um, that's one of the questions. One of them asked, what's your most favourite food to eat while you're writing? And she said crisps. And, and another question was, what do you wear while you're writing? And then she said, just tracksuits. And then later on, which was really funny, she said, and a top as well. <laughs> the book was not based on her life. But I do feel that when she read the book, she read it from the heart and it was like very, very expression. She had a lot of expression in it. And she, um, wrote, she said it in the forum and I think that the forum was very, very, very beautiful. And it had like decorations on the walls and on the ceiling and it was like art deco. And we enjoyed the team. They were so fantastic. And where you got the books were from Waterstone. Miranda really helped me when I didn't have a voice and I wasn't confident. So that's why I really, really looked up to her and I was looking so forward to actually meeting her. And Miranda says, if you are an adult or a child, you just have to release your inner child and like do whatever you want and have fun while you're writing and you just release all your Release us! One, two, three! Release us! One, two, three! Your stuff and just just have a lot of fun. That's just what you said. And as you know as you may know, the story is about the girl with a lost smile. And she's trying to find it back. And I, this is going to be a spoiler, but at the end, the only way that she got her smile back was with true friendship. And also, at the festival, they gave out these very, very interesting newspapers, I might add. And I think it's once every week. Let's open it. It's called the First News, and it's like a newspaper, but not for adults. It's for kids, and it's like I find it really amusing, and it's very funny some of them. So I find that really good. It's called the First News. Try get one if you can. And after we um, got the first news, we just went out exploring, and we found this. Um, as you may not know, it's Health Week mental health week and this is um, a, a company called Achieve and next week on Saturday and Sunday they are going to do like meeting famous people so you can go there it's like the Bath Literature Festival so yeah it's really really good and we met a person called Lorraine Morgan and she was actually the former mayor of Baths and she got an MBE from Princess Anne, which I find really, really amazing. So, apart from that wonderful, fabulous day I had, I also met Tim Warren, a counsellor on Bath, and he took us on a wonderful tour around the Guildhall, and it was just one of the best tours. And now I know such more history about the Guildhall. And I know that they took like court cases there and 
that was it's just been a fabulous day in Bath and I don't and I think it's unforgettable.